He was a rising rugby star when a tackle changed his life. There was a guy behind me and he kind of grabbed me by the shoulder. I landed like that first and I'm not sure if that's when I'd done it. You know, at first, all I'd say is I'm going to walk. All my mates still say, you know, you're going to walk out of here, you're sweet. So I was like, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I'm sweet, you know. Now it's starting to get to the point where, you know, there's a chance that I can walk, but there's a chance I'm going to be in a chair. You know, and I've got to accept that um, either way. Right. Even in hospital, right. he shows strength of character. I think at first a lot of people want to help me and think that I can't do much for myself, but it'll slowly um, come to terms with them. All right, cool, well done. Yay. For the last six months, Cody's been mentored by Sholto Taylor, helping him adapt to his new life. Just remember the basics, eh? Take a little bit of momentum into the bottom of it. Sholto's great. He pretty much just comes and helps out. Like, Sholto um, does everything for us pretty much, you know. Just um, stuff that we need that he knows we can't do. Doing good, mate. Keep that momentum, keep going. Now, he's heading home. You know, some people say when they've done the injuries young, they don't see themselves walking. You know, they prefer being in a chair. You know, they've achieved so much in a chair. They don't, if they had the chance, they'd stay in a chair where they wouldn't want to walk. And that's kind of the way I look at it. I might be able to achieve a lot of things in a chair, do everything I wanted to do, even more. Well, you don't let that fall. I'm going to have to, Cody, I'm going to have to hold you like this, mate, because that board's going to fall out. All right, you oh. ready? Just watch my foot. I'm coming home. It was a bit of a tussle towards the end, getting everything here, yeah, but we got, got it. One, two, three. There you go. And to uh, actually get him out of the car and into his chair and walk him through the door, and I knew we were home. We were back to being a family again. Oh. Oh. Hey, bro. Oh, did you get potato fritters? Yeah, you want one. Oh, you want a hot dog, didn't you? Well, I live with my dad here with my two brothers, Troy, who's 18, and Tyler, who's 13. Oh. I've got an older brother um, living with his girlfriend. So, yeah, he, he comes over for tea and everything still and spends time with us, which is good. Uh... My mum um, moved to Blenheim with her yeah. boyfriend while I was still in hospital. Yeah, and yeah. mum comes down every weekend, every second weekend, to come see me and I go for tea and that. So we're all pretty much the same because that's what would happen before. Do you have any dinner cups? Not too much. Not as fat. You know, some of the biggest struggles you're going to go through is finding out what works for you. The different yeah. types of cups and knives and forks, for example. Things that you go through at the spinal unit, but um, it's not until you actually see people that are actually very similar to yourself and what they're using, and it gives you an idea on how you can do it yourself. Are you still interviewing caregivers in the I picked three so far. And you've got to decide on them. Um, three best. No, you've got to have like four. Oh, it is. Four About times. four or something, so. A couple of full timers, a couple of part timers, and aren't they? Get up. Well, I'm pretty much on 24 hour care. They help me up in the morning. I'll have a shower and all that sort of stuff, and they'll help me get dressed. They get me breakfast, and it's just quite good to have them around to help me out. And, you know, they do, if I do ask for something, they still do make me do it myself. It's just all crazy, eh? Like, I never actually um, practiced too much balancing while I was at um, hospital. I was at the hospital, and because it was just so hard. At first, I had to have a nurse everything. So far, I've been able to 
get my top partly on and that and that's that's you know that's step one out of about four. Ooh. Right. Come a long way, eh? From when I used to use a slide board back, or with a hoist at first. Always telling nurses and that, like, I started to actually, I lied to them at first. I was like, oh, I'm allowed a slide board and hadn't been cleared off, but getting to this is pretty mean. Even though he has full time carers, he's taking the initiative to keep himself fit and go out by himself. It's been uh, two months since I left the hospital now. It's different to be home, eh? So much different to the hospital because you're in a much different environment. The first time I got home, it was just a mission trying to get up this wee um, hilly part, but um, lately I've gotten a whole lot stronger, so it's just so much easier now. Once you get up here, it's a bit of a relief, though. Going up the ramp's a bit of a mission. <laughs> Got to kind of lean forward to get up it. Actually, you just wheelie. One of the things that I had to get used to was carpets. At the um, hospital, it was just all concrete, so it was just a breeze to go, um, go on. I always pass my old room before I go to my new room. And like, I've got heaps of memories in there, like um, trophies from when I'd done BMXing and all that. There wasn't too much um, modifications that needed to be done um, in the house. Like one of the uh, main ones was the bathroom. So the ranch pretty much there to help me get into the shower. If everything was level, it would be uh, much easier because it's quite dodgy coming up this. Go there. And oh, I, I I don't like it, but it's, what can you do? It's not as simple as just life back to normal again. Everything's got to be. You got to look around and check your environment. Um, you know, you got to be aware of your physical abilities and what obstacles there actually are. Yeah, the ramps a bit dodgy trying to go up and down at the first time. Nearly. Um, come right off the side. It's getting over the weed. Oh, I'm a bit stuck. <laughs> Got to get a wee run off for. Or... Something like that. Like. like. As you saw, as soon as I got down, it got a bit of speed and got real close to that. I, I don't like going down it, but if you want to go outside and get in the sun, then. You got to, usually there's someone around or something helping me out a bit. It's hard work with all the boys and Cody. I'd spend a lot more time with Cody helping him out as much as I possibly can. Just got to organise other bits and pieces for the other boys as well now, trying to work in with time with work. You know, I do 50 odd hours a week. And then I've got to come home and cook tea for the boys and, you know, yeah, it's, it's bloody hard. 
Yeah, I do get frustrated sometimes. He'll say, oh, Dad, can you get my pills? And then I'll come back and he'll go, oh, can you do this for me? <laughs> so it's back up to the other end of the house again and it's back down. I'm taking it all in, I'm putting it all on my shoulders and we're getting it done. It's just the... Like, the most frustrating thing is just when I just keep spasming. Like, yeah, especially over these bits. Go on the footpath. Push so hard. Come on now. Just bend your toes down or up? Um, it's down. So you it's a breeze going on the concrete. He's there? had his mates around. They've been his rock since day one. And they're still here. And that's a real bonus. You know, I don't think if it wasn't for his mates, I don't know how he would be actually. Oh. Must be getting tired. Uh, yeah, my arms are killing me, eh? Like, that's the weird <laughs> thing. My arms are real sore, like, but I don't feel tired. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just, Ooh. like, I've... Oh, you're just working them hard? Yeah, I've felt it before, like, I don't get tired, but I get to the point where my arms don't want to move anymore. <laughs> well, that, is it worse than going Your mates like... text you, you know, what are you up to, or us, I text my mates, what are you up to? And it's kind of like, you don't want to ask them to come and hang out because they know they're coming to pick you up and, you know, they'll be lifting you in the car and they'll be helping you get your water and just all the little things. It's like, these things are really easy, but it's just a challenge for me to do it. I don't like to ask, but I guess if you're asking in the right manner and you, you know, you're trying at home to do that yourself. You're stuck in there. Nah, I'm all right, bro. I'm all right. Nah, it's pretty soft. Nah, nah, she's all right. Keep going. <laughs> She's not getting it. Go over it. that, go over it like more here. Oh, it is soft. Yeah. Nah, we're all right. Nah, I'm pushing you. Nah, you're not. It's that one. <laughs> so, um, we'll... First thing people told me is, you know, don't don't get trapped in your house and stay in your room. So I try and get out as much as I can, especially on a nice day. It's just, you know, there's no point in staying home. If I want to go, you know, leave my house and just go outside for a bit, or even just getting picked up by a couple mates and going out, anything's better than home. I want to get a job. You know, I want to um, do something with my life now. I definitely want to get into wheelchair rugby. That, that's, yeah, that's a big goal for me, and be independent, those are my two goals. Um, but yeah, it's just take, take it day by day and just see what, see what happens. He's keen to get back to school, but we'll have to deal with a constant flow of assessments and therapists to make sure he can get to the next stage. Oh, kind of being chilled about it, really. How are you thinking you're going to manage that in terms of notes and classwork and things like that? Well, I want to do it myself, so I don't really want help. What about other, the other things around school, like, do you think you'll be able to manage getting your laptop in and out of your bag? What about getting around school, in and out of classrooms, in and out of doors? Can you manage doors? OK, I just need to see how you manage a transfer, and then... Is that on to the bed? Finish. Yep, thanks. Then I will pick you an email and we'll deal with the other stuff that we talked about, OK? Yeah, yeah, all right. Cool. All righty. Oh, good to meet you. Yeah, you too. Good luck. You'll find yourself, um, you know, being interviewed and asked questions by lots of different people, and you know, some of them are very private questions, and you just need to learn to, you know, it's in your best interest to open up and and to know as much about yourself as you can. 
Gotta be patient, I guess. Well, now you do. school tomorrow. Oh. Really? I, I honestly don't know what's going on with school. Well, that's what I hear. you got school tomorrow. Wednesday. Is that 1pm? 1, 1 yes, it does. It is Wednesday. No, that's Wednesday. Yeah. That's for year 12. I am year 12. Are you? As soon as they would start back normal. On the super. Alright, so, I, yeah, I do have school tomorrow. I'm pretty keen for tea, eh? It's yeah, well, it's cooking. Stuff, yeah. It's cooking. Okay? Don't push your luck with me anymore. Okay. Uh, coming home and cooking tea. Getting tea ready for this one. All of them, actually, but yeah, with Cody. Yeah, you gotta, gotta make sure it's right for him, because he's fussy. You are, so. Si. You are. And you gotta cut it up for him. Get it all cut up for him and everything. He's always first at tea time. Yeah. Keep them fed. And by crikey, that works wonders. <laughs> yeah. They're really good. Of course, they're they good kids. Who cares? I care. Because I'm the one that's going to get grunted at by everybody. Not you. First day of school today. Are you oh. excited? Um, I don't know. It should be alright just to get out of the house. It's pretty weird being in uniform though. Keep do my buttons off. Okay. I think I need a smaller um, top. Yeah, it's looking a bit big. Need my brother to do my tie. Let's hope he can do one. Hey Tyler, what? can you give us a hand? Do you know how to do a tie? No. Or are you gonna find out? Now nah, if you pop it around my neck. Can, yeah, go do it up. Yeah. Uh, through like that. And through there. And then through again. I'm doing it myself. <laughs> and then if you, if you pop it, then hold it up. Is that good? And then make this a bit wider. You're shocking. I know. Why don't I... Oh, look at this, Tyler. That's all right. It's not all right. You can... Oh, I think I think I know what we've done wrong. If you go the same way, but go this way. Off the top, off the... Yeah. So, and then, yeah, just not too tight, and then, yeah, the uh, other way. Oh, I, I, I don't have a clue, we're gonna have to. Yeah. Rebecca! Oh. Rebecca! <laughs> I reckon it's gonna be good for me getting back to school. Just seeing all my friends and um, not having to. You know, wait for them to come here, I can go to, go to them. I'm actually excited to get back to school. You know, not much people say that. Can I get my bag deep before I go? Cody's missed almost a year of school, but he needs to return to pass critical New Zealand qualifications if he wants to have any chance of finding a job.
Vinny. <laughs> Top bolt. Yeah. I think he's a completely different child now. Since his accident, he's he's matured very fast. He's accepted his injury. He hasn't thrown his lollies out of the cot like I would expect him to do. He's just got on with life, and it's made him a better person. I'm in a completely different position now. You know, usually I'd come to school and I'd just be like everyone else. Just go in, get it done and leave, but now it's like everyone's coming to say hello and how's it going? So yeah, what's going on? What's up, Walt? Oh, what, well, he's rocking off, all right. Mob trying to take me out. <laughs> so I've been at school um, pretty much a term now, and I'm starting to get used to all the wee um, bits and bobs around the school, like, especially like the ramps like this. Um, you know, it's, it's a bit of a pain having it, but I guess it's good just to get around to the other classes. Yeah, as you can see. So I can get up it, but before that I needed my mates in there to push me. And that was, you know, I don't really like, but you have improved. Most of the um, steps um, around the school, like, well, like this one, um, they're like quite um, large. Well, this one's quite large. The other ones are quite um, small, but there's still a bit of a mission to get over, and most of the time, I need um, a bit of a hand from a mate. I'll just grab someone around the school or something like that. Like this one, I, I couldn't get up it myself. See, the ramps just here are pretty good, easy for me to get up. But one of the main things is the door. Um, trying to open it like, I want to be the most, most independent as I can and not have to ask for help every time. And you can see I'm, I'm not strong enough and my finger function um, doesn't allow me to grip onto the handle, so every time I try and grab it, it slips off. So pretty much I get stuck in the situation where I've got to ask for help. Ben, do you can, you can open this for me? I don't, I don't like to ask for help, but I guess if it's there. They don't have. Sh have you seen the new ones? I only do half days. I only bring a snack for lunch, so um, I usually can keep it in near us, um, have it in my bag. Either either, I've got someone here to help me anyway, so it's quite good. Certainly in the initial stages of uh, leaving the rehab unit, um, yeah. fatigue is often an issue. It can come from a number of areas, you know, yeah. whether you're working too hard or you're not eating properly or you're not getting, just simply not getting enough rest. Um, Cody, you know, he has only a few muscles to push from. He's got his deltoids and his biceps um, and not a lot else. I think you have to sort of take it back a little bit, you know, take into the fact that he is a teenager, so he's uh, vulnerable to, to late nights, he's vulnerable to um, using the can of energy drink um, for um, nutrition. Uh, so it's, it's really a fact of um, getting them to buy into the, the proper eating habits because those things have an overall effect, not just your energies, but, um, you know, your, your toileting and all those kind of things. Usually go over sleep in the afternoon, I'll get home and go to sleep, but it is it is good being at school, and like I'll start to get more used to it, which I am now getting into class and doing work, and that. Um, but yeah, like you know, I guess hopefully soon I can start doing all day at school.
one of the um, things about this field is uh, we um, Shirley Rugby hasn't been able to play on it for two years uh, since the ground's been damaged and then the earthquake. And that's that's one of the big um, like downfalls for me because I, I really wanted to play on it, um, especially for the first 15, you know, because um, that's one of the biggest things, playing at your school. You know, so I come out here sometimes and just on my free periods sort of look at it and, you know, it kind of sucks, you know, because I'm, ne I'm never going to be able to play on it again. This year is the year they get to um, play on it, and well, I'm, I'm quite excited to watch them, but in my head I'm going to be, you know, like, oh, I, I just wish I could go and play, and that's, that's like every rugby game, even on TV, you know, I just sort of uh, watch it, it's like, no, I want to play, but, you know, I, I can't now.